Right, that's the merge. Let's get our wingman Please to go after him. And we'll try not to die. Which will be pretty tricky. The F-16's a far better dogfighter than the F-15 is, but still, we'll see how we go. Okay, I see them both. That's definitely good. Okay, the F-16 seems to be a much better rate fighter than we are, but still, let's see if we can get a couple shots off here, maybe. Just missed out on a proper solution. Okay, vertical scan again. Oh, God. Oh, God, someone's destroyed. Hope that was now wingman. Oh crap, F-16. Oh crap, oh hang on, no, that's F-15. Okay. So we might actually win this. I'm not in a very good position here. This F-16 is just going to keep hunting us down mercilessly. Unless I run him out of fuel, which is possible. And actually quite likely if we can survive long enough. Oh, we've lost a lot of speed. That's just not good. Okay. Nah, I need to gain some speed. Right. Well, our wingman's still going after him. Don't know where he is, though. Hopefully he hasn't crashed. Otherwise, that's extremely bad for us. Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, so it's 2v1 at this point. So the first fireball we saw was actually from that F-16. Okay, got him locked. No, he's just gone past. Okay, really need to keep the speed up in this thing. Okay, come on. Nope. Not going to get it there. Right. Let's go around this way. Okay, come on. Lock him. Lock him. It's so small, the F-16. Which is kind of a good thing in this kind of engagement. The smaller the target, the more difficult it is to hit. Come on, you've got to be running low on fuel now. Okay, I don't want to lock up our ally, our wingman. Oh! <laughs> it's just so fast, that F-16. I mean, we are faster. We do have a higher top speed, I'm pretty sure. But that's not going to be too useful in this kind of engagement. Okay, is the 16 still going for us? Is it trying to evade? No, it's definitely still going for it. It's just going to space. <laughs> but when he gets to the top of his circle, he'll be going a lot slower than at the bottom, so might help our wingman get a solution but don't know okay let's see let's see if we can lock him there we go he's locked he's not oh he was still in front of us okay um let's try that again we got pretty close that time Don't lock our ally, our wingman. There we go. Nope. Gotta run him out of fuel. 
Can I go to lock? No. Nope. You just look away for a split second and the F-16 is just somewhere completely different. I can't see him. I can see our wingman, but not the... Oh, he's right there. Okay, I've got a lock. Looks like it's the F-16. It's probably out of fuel though. There we go. Okay, so that's the guns round in favor of the F-15. Pretty much only because we ran them out of fuel. Now onto the Fox 2's round. Right, I'm going to put as much distance as I can between them because those AIM-9Xs are pretty insane. And the greater the distance between us, the further they need to travel. And if I lose altitude, the air will be thicker. And we should be able to slow down his aim nine X's or their aim nine X's. Oh god. Okay, so we've got two F-16s coming after us now. This is not good at all. I don't know where they are. Oh, I see one of them. Come on. Fox two. Fox 2 again. Come on. If I can shoot down just one before being killed myself. Okay, that's that's one down. Where's the other guy? The other F-16. No idea. Back behind us. Okay, uh... Oh yeah. Okay, I could try running him out of fuel again. That's definitely a an option. If I turn, he's just going to fire an A9X at us, and then that's it for us. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. It was pretty much as low as I can get at this part of the map. Do Mac 1.4. Don't see him. Oh yeah, I do. Right there. Okay, low altitude, we burn up fuel faster, but so do they, so it goes both ways. Try and hide behind a mountain? It's probably not a good idea, you can just follow us. I think he just went behind our tail fin just then. Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, come on, F-16, run out of fuel. Got to watch our fuel level as well, 8,000 pounds. Now, if that's someone that fired at our wingman, he should still have three 
I'm not X's left. Okay, all that maneuvering is losing energy for him. But he's a very, very light aircraft. And he actually has, I, I think the F-16's got the same uh, engine as the F-15 does. So he's definitely got a lot of thrust. And a brilliant thrust to weight ratio. Especially when he's just about to run out of fuel. But, oh, I don't know. I don't know how long that's going to be. A few minutes, maybe. Okay, what am I going to do? Okay, I don't see him. It's not on the RWR. I'll turn my radar off, actually. So we won't show up on his. Let's see if I can get a visual. And then if I can, we'll go around and try and get him. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing on the RWR. Okay. Time to turn around, see if we can get him on radar. He's not back there. Okay. Well, he, he definitely is somewhere. No idea where, though. Let's see if he shows up on the... Oh, right there. Okay, got him. Got him locked. Okay, let's, let's go get him. Got to get pretty close. We're 14 miles out. He's still heading away from us. Is he even there? I can't see a speck in that square. Oh, yep. Yep, there he is. Okay. He's still heading away from us, and we're still going pretty quick. <laughs> we're running out of fuel. Bingo fuel. Bingo fuel. There we go. Got him again. Oh, it's six miles. That's quite a distance, but still. Let's see how we go. Fox 2, that's the final one. Come on. Come on, hit him. Nice. I didn't expect we'd win the Fox 2s round, but we actually shot both of them down. I guess my tactic of putting some distance between us actually worked, although it did lead to our uh, wingman being shot down, but oh well. You just click a button and they come back. Right, Fox 3s. Okay, Fox 3's radar turn to TWS. They're on RWR, so get our wingman to go after them. Flight. Engage bandits. Okay, let's see if I can get both of these in a TWS lock. There we go. That's both of them. Crank off to the side a little bit. Keep them on radar though. Try and increase the distance their missiles would have to travel in order to get to us hopefully to allow us to get closer uh, before we fire. Okay, we've got a centre drop tank and six AMRAMs. I'm actually just going to drop the tank. There we go. Should go a bit faster now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're picking up speed nicely now. Okay, they've probably fired at us. Ok, 
Come on, let's get to Mach 1, then we'll fire. Okay. Fox 3. And then Fox 3. It's going to be like 30 odd seconds till they go active. Okay, we're supersonic. We'll just go mill power, save some fuel. Okay, our missiles definitely went active. Oh, they're right over there. Oh, one's down. Where though? I don't see him. Oh, yep. So one was right there. The other one's up pretty high by the looks of it. Okay, this is... Oh. Did you get the other one? Yeah. Got the other one, so we won. Anyway, that's all the exercises I had for today in the F-15 Eagle, so catch you next time.